oh my goodness, what? You yeah, guys, stay tuned for this one. Hey, feeling good, like I should. Been in Durka, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Okay, jumping right into this video, you guys. These are the rags that I'm using. An old t-shirt, courtesy of Hubby. And here's the clip you guys will need if you want to do this hairstyle. And I'll be using Afrogy as well, the leave-in conditioner, just for a hole. You guys can use Lottie Body or anything that you use to hold your hair. This works for me. And you guys, my hair is an old um, blowed out or flat iron look. And I'm just going to part it on the side that I desire to wear my part. Here I'm just dividing my hair again just to get a smaller section. Then we're going to place this part out of the way. If your hair is straight, you can use bigger pieces um, of hair to roll. But if your hair is in its natural state, then I would advise using smaller pieces. And I'm just going to lay the rag across my head right here and making sure that I have enough so I can tie it up at the top. And once I do that, I'm just going to use a little bit of this leave-in and I'm going to rub it all the way down my hair just to wet it a little bit to make the curl whole. Then I'm just going to do it like a two-strand twist and twist it all the way down. And I want it tight. So I'm kind of trying to put the hair close together, if you get what I'm saying. I'm twisting it very tight. And once I get all the way down to the end, I will fold the rag up just to tuck the end piece on. And then I'm going to wrap it around. This part is very important. Wrap it around about two or three times at the bottom just to make sure it stays. And then you're just going to wrap the hair all the way back up to the top. Once you finish wrapping the rag all the way back up, you can remove your clip and tie the rag. You guys will see as I continue on. Whew, I finally got that one on and to you guys, it didn't take but a second. But for me, that was like my second or third one trying and which is not hard once you get the hang of it. Okay, you guys, now I'm just going to keep on repeating the process so you guys can get it and see exactly how I did it. And I'm just going to put the clip up there to hold the rag in place. And then I'm going to use a little bit of my leave-in just to wet my hair. And I will start by twisting the rag and the hair together like a two-strand twist. And just follow through just like the first one.
All right, you guys, I'm almost finished. I'm starting in the front right here. And just make sure that you have your hair parted the way that you want it to be so that you don't have to do any extra parting once you finish. And as you guys can see through the video, all the rats did not stay tied, like really tight and up to the top. But that is okay. I feel like as long as they were wrapped around at the um, beginning when you were wrapping, then it is okay. And as long as they stay tight that way, then you are okay. So don't worry about it if the rag slides down or whatever because the curl will still turn out perfectly. Okay, you guys, you should be looking something like this. And I'm going to use my bonnet to sleep in just so the rats won't fall out or get in my way. All right, it's the next morning and everything is seems to be still in place and the rats are still holding up. Now I'm going to take them down. To take the rats out, you just want to unravel your hair just like you would two strand twist. And you guys, I promise I'm making this look harder than what it is. Just make sure the ends of your hair are loose so that it can come um, undone from the rag very easily. And then you can just go from there. After taking the last one out, I must admit, I was like, oh my goodness, what is this going to look like? But I just began to kind of separate them and trying to keep the curl intact. So just separate and kind of twist with your hand just to make sure the curls are popping back in place. And you can do this as much as you can. And the more you separate them, the bigger the hair is going to get. So I'm trying to separate as good as I can or as much as I can. And you guys, you can add oil on your hands too. I forgot to do that. But um, I don't think I really need it because my hair was a little oil oily before I started. Okay, you guys, I'm almost finished separating all the curls and it's getting bigger and looking better. And as you guys can tell, I am really feeling these curls. I really love the look. 
and I will be trying this again on my natural hair. My hair is in its natural state. And you guys, don't forget to share this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.